Hey everybody, welcome back to Mike Yoski's Kitchen. My name is Michael Shefsky. I'm the chef of this kitchen, and I hope if you're tuning in, you're the chef of yours. We've been cooking up some really good stuff. We are in fall season, and nothing in fall season says it better than dips. I love all kinds of dips. I mean, you can put them in a crock pot, you can put them in the oven, but some of the most fantastic dips you can make during fall season. And you know what else fall season means? Tailgates, potlucks. You take dips to those things and people will love you. I'm gonna show you how to make one tonight that you're absolutely going to love. It is called uh, Spicy Shrimp Artichoke Dip. Spicy Shrimp Artichoke Dip. It's so good and it's so easy to make. I guarantee you, you'd be like, oh wow, I just made that. That's so easy, that was so quick. Here's what we're gonna use, a pound of shrimp. I have some raw shrimp here. It's been deveined, they've been peeled, they're ready to go. Now, I like to use a rub on the shrimp. They don't have to, but I do. And I'm gonna tell you what's in this rub. And in fact, if you click on the um, recipe at the bottom, you'll see the ingredients, but I'm just gonna read them off to you. There's paprika, there's garlic, there's oregano, there's onion powder, cumin, salt, brown sugar, and cayenne. All in this little, little um, rub. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, make sure we get it onto the shrimp. Salt and pepper is gonna go into this. A hot sauce, you can use Tabasco, you can use Frank's, you can use whatever you want. Of course, we got some cream cheese, we got some sour cream, we got some butter, we got some artichokes because we're going to talk about artichoke, or artichoke dip. And of course, we have ourselves some Monterey Jack cheese. I'll show you what to do with it. And the final thing we have is some baby spinach. That's it. That's how easy it is going to be. That's how simple it is. Uh, I'm going to show you what to do. Very little cutting. Well, what we're going to do, as far as cutting is concerned, well, let's just see. We're going to cut up a little bit of baby spinach, but we're going to take these artichoke hearts and we're going to go ahead and put them in a strainer. We're going to strain them out and then we'll chop them up. But I'll show you what to do, uh, how they look when we're ready to go. We're going to spend a little, very little time over here in the extra work area, the chopping in area, and we're spending more time over there putting this thing together. And it just goes into the oven. You're going to really enjoy this dip. I'll see you right back here. All right, great. Let me show you what I want to do with the shrimp first. Got, like I said, about a pound of shrimp. They're raw, they're deveined, and they're peeled. Let's go ahead and drop them in this, drop them in this bag. And remember that rub I told you about? Let's just put some rub inside there. You know what? Instead of being all fun about it, let's just shake some in. What you want to do is just close the bag, just wriggle, and then you just want to coat the shrimp. There you go. That's what we're gonna cook first. We're gonna cook this first on the hot spot. But there's one more thing we're gonna cut up before we head over there. But that's how the shrimp should look. Ready to go. Nice and covered, nice and coated with this wonderful rub. And it's gonna make that dip have that much better of a taste. I'll see you right back here. I'm gonna show you what else I'm gonna cut up. I'm gonna cut up those um, uh, artichoke hearts and some spinach. I'll see you right back. All right, welcome back. Hey, just wanna show you how hard it really is to make this. Um, I just took that 14 ounce can of artichokes and I strained them in a strainer, brought them out, just chopped them up. And I chopped up about, I don't know, a cup and a half to two cups of uh, spinach. And that's about all the chopping we're gonna do. In fact, there's just a little bit more chopping we're gonna do, but it's gonna be over at the hot spot. But right now, we're about ready to put this together and make this dip. This is as easy as it comes, folks. So right now, I'm heading over to hot spot. I will see you over there and let's make us our make us our dip, our wonderful, wonderful dip. I'll see you over there. All right, welcome back. Hey, let's put this thing together now. This is how simple it's gonna be. You are gonna make an excellent, excellent spicy shrimp um, spinach artichoke dip. About a tablespoon of butter melted in there. Remember that shrimp that we mixed up with our rub? Let's go ahead and add it. And we wanna go ahead and add it all in there. And what we wanna do is just cook the shrimp. Cook it till it's nice and soft, opaque, um, and you just wanna get a nice cook on the shrimp here. Probably six to seven minutes, I would say total, just flipping it all the time, but that's it. Um, after that, what we're gonna do is take the shrimp out of here, chop it up, and then we got another step to do. We'll be adding the shrimp back in later, just relax, we'll do it. But let's go ahead and cook the shrimp first. Six to seven minutes, keep flipping it, and I'll be right back. All right, great, we're back. So our shrimp is pretty much done, it's a nice little brown to it. We're gonna take it off and we're gonna put it on a cutting board. And the reason why we're gonna do that, is we're gonna reuse this pan. We will reuse this pan. I'm gonna keep it on the warm. I'm gonna go let it cool off a little bit, the shrimp. 
I'm gonna let it cool off a little bit. I'm gonna chop it up into small little bite-sized pieces. Maybe even smaller than bite size, but really tiny pieces. So let me let it cool off, and then I'll be right back. But in the meantime, we got some other stuff to do. Um, and we're gonna be right back. I'll show you what we can do with the rest of this pan because we're about ready to wrap this thing up. See you right back here. All right, hey, we're back. What we're gonna do right now, the trip was already cut up, so I'm gonna go ahead and melt three tablespoons of butter. I'm gonna go ahead and take my cream cheese, put that in there, and my sour cream. So we wanna get all of that mixed together. It will be just fine. Make a nice little cream to it. Beautiful. Now let's get ahead and make, let's get them all melted down. Just mix them together. You want to be at low heat. You don't want to burn these guys. The reason I like to keep it in the same pan is because you're picking up the, the shrimp flavor and that wonderful spicy flavor and we're just going to go ahead and mix this up i'll show you what to do next when we come back and we'll go ahead and let this melt the rest of the way and then we've got a couple more steps and we're about ready to go so i'll be right back okay so our butter cream cheese and our sour cream is all melted and mixed together what we're going to do now is add the last pieces of this go a little bit of pepper as it bubbles it's fine a little bit of salt Mix that together, okay? Now we wanna add our, our uh, Monterey Jack cheese. Let that mix in. We wanna melt that down. And as that's melting, we wanna take our artichokes and add those next. There we go, artichoke time. Artichokey time. Beautiful. Mix that in. Got a couple more things to mix in before we take it to the next level. So we keep on heating. But it's still at about low, low, medium heat. We don't want to lose it. Let's mix that together. Keep that mixing. Got artichokes all built in there. Looks great. Now, folks, now we add the shrimp. A nice little cut shrimp we already cut up. Let's put it right into this. Beautiful. Now let's fold the shrimp into this. The one just got away. That's what we're talking about right there. Look at that, artichoke and shrimp. Oh, we got one more to go yet. While this is cooking like this, take your hot sauce and go to your own taste. It's gonna add a little bit here. That's what I'm doing, okay? You can add what you want to your dip. You know what your family likes. You know what their heat sensitivity is. Mine. My personally is very high. Some of the people in my house are not so high. That's okay. There we go. One last thing we're going to do. We're going to get this bubbling again. Look how pretty that looks. Look how pretty that looks. Last thing we're going to do. Are you ready? Starting to bubble. Let's add our spinach. And we're gonna fold that in. Reason why you add spinach last, because spinach cooks down pretty quickly and we don't want a big mushy spinach in our dish. I'm just gonna mix that up. I will show you what to do with when to get it mixed up here right when we come back. I'll see you right back. All right, so I've taken that beautiful mixture out of the pan into a baking dish, because what we're gonna do after this we're going to go ahead and broil it just for about three or four minutes. But before we do so, we're going to take some more of this Monterey Jack cheese and we're just going to sprinkle it on the top. Get a good level of it.
We want to make sure that we get a nice little cover to it. There we go. There we go. I'll just shake it out there. I'm going to take that and put that right into the oven. Three to four minutes under the broiler. And we're ready to eat. We're done, folks. I'll see you back here. All right, everybody, we're back. We got it out of the oven. Three to four minutes on your broiler just to get the cheese kind of bubbly and browned up a little bit. Can't wait to try it. Look, you can serve it with tortilla chips. You can serve it with some celery. You can serve it with some red pepper. You can serve it with bread, you know, like a, like a, um, a, a soft kind of bread or, a, you know, a, a sourdough or whatever you want to dip in it. This is a dip. I'm going to try it. I know it's going to be hot, but I don't care because I'm going in, baby. So this is the... Mm. Man, that is so good. This is a spicy shrimp spinach artichoke dip that you can take anywhere and be the hero of the next tailgate the next potluck or even in your own home i hope you enjoy this it was simple it was easy make it make it make it you'll love it i'll see you next time thanks for tuning in and by the way if you haven't subscribed please subscribe hit the red button love to have you on board we're building an army of chefs thanks again for showing up in my own special polish way nostrovia